Okay, hi, I'm host Eric. I was talking with famous people. Feelers of the world, I have some questions. I'm hoping you can help me with them. And this is one of the questions. Where does the feeling go between experiencing it? Because, let me tell you a story. I just had a conversation. I thought I was not at all mad about something anymore. To the best of my knowledge, I wasn't mad about it. I was, I had already thought it through and I realized, well, this is all the things that have happened and this is why that happened and, you know, there's no point in blaming him and stuff like that, you know? And, uh, I didn't think I was mad. And then I had the conversation and started talking about it again. I got all mad again. So, where does the emotion go in between experiencing it? That, I think, is the key question the key difference between FI and FE is that FI people, they know where it goes. You guys must know where it goes. And see, this is what I want to know. Where does it go? It must be like, it must have a, a green room where it hangs out in between coming out on stage, right? That's one question I have to do. Let me see, see since I, that only took a minute and 25 seconds, let me see if I can think of another question that have, have occurred to me. Um, okay. How many different flavors of sadness do you have? How many flavors of sadness? Because I think I mostly have two. I have crying and... and... <laughs> meh. I don't... Uh, I have that. Those are the two flavors of sadness I think I have. And maybe... Oh, I have existential terror. Is that sadness? I don't think it's a flavor of sadness. That's something else. It's like big life change terror. When I, when I, I can almost put myself in it. When I think about my divorce in a certain light, if I remember put myself in a certain spot in the process of the divorce, I almost muster it up. Anyway, I don't think that that's not a flavor of sadness. That is a definitely, that's fear. That's what that is. That's fear. I recognize fear. I've had fear before on um, multiple occasions. Um, what else do I recognize? There's some emotions I recognize, but I think there are probably a lot of subtle flavors of emotions that I'm not distinguishing between. Um, you know, because Mega Bro put this comment where he listed up all the different things that manifest as love. And I was struck by a couple of things. One, that well, that's convenient. I can sort of have sort of a checklist, see if my behaviors cor correlate with those things. But then he keeps saying it's not behavior. But if it's not behavior, then what the fuck is it? It's not anything, right? I mean, what is it? It's different than a thought. A thought you can say is a... Yeah, there's lots of different ways you can explain what a thought is. You know, you can explain that it's an exercise of language, you know, a, a statement, uh, a parsing tool, um, an explication tool, a, you know, it, it, it's all those things. What's, what is, what is, like, what's a, what's a flavor of sadness other than sad? <laughs> Let's see, uh, melancholy or, or, Pining. What's the difference between pining? How does pining feel different than melancholy? There's my last question for the feelers today. That's three questions for the feelers. This is a good, uh, this is a good, a good video right here. I think it'll be good length. And I'm curious about the answers to all these questions. So, what's the difference between melancholy and um, pining? And then this, the other question is, where do your emotions go when you're not feeling them? And the third question is, how many fl different flavors of emotion do you f distinguish between it within yourself? Can you say, oh, well, that's definitely a little bit different than that. That's a little bit different than that. Because I don't know how, I have a very, uh, it's sort of a featureless wash kind of a thing, you know? Featureless wash of, of, what would you call it, like, dysfunction? <laughs>
A featureless wash of dysfunction. Emotion. A featureless wash of dysfunction. Thanks for watching. Talk with those people.